In this video, I will follow the Falcon Lotus document step by step to show you how to run a Lotus node in Ubuntu. The distribution I use is Ubuntu 20. Well, there are several ways to install Lotus on Linux, and I will show you how to install Lotus by building from source. Because it allows you to configure how Lotus runs and how it communicates with, with its dependencies. Building Lotus requires some system dependencies and software dependencies. So first of all, let's update the library and install these system dependencies. Then install Rust app. Here you can choose the default option, proceed with installation. And then add the directory to the path environment. Then install Go 1.16.4 or higher. Also, add the directory to the path environment and use Go version to check if everything is good. The next step is to clone the Lotus repository. And check out the release. In, in this video, I'm going to use uh, release 1.13.2. Then we can build the Lotus with uh, some environments such, such as the Rust flags and FFI built from source. We can also choose to build Lotus for mainnet or the calibration testnet. And I'm gonna build the uh, binary for calibration testnet. All right, uh, here are all the binary files and use sudo make install command to put the Lotus binary in user local bin path. Yeah. Since, uh, since Lotus is built successfully, we can use Lotus daemon command to start the node. and the Lotus node is up. Uh, but let's stop the node first and do some modification. Enter the Lotus uh, folder and uh, do some conf modification to the configuration file. Change the listen address and the remote listen address to 0000 or your local IP address so that the node can be accessed remotely. Uh, okay, then uh, actually Filecoin blockchain grows really fast and to uh, sync the whole chain from scratch will take a long time. So there is a faster way to sync by using the snapshot. Uh, there are two, kind, two types of uh, snapshot, lightweight snapshot and uh, full chain snapshot. And I'm gonna use the lightweight snap snapshot.
Okay, download the calibration snapshot file. And extract this file to get a car file. Okay, it's done. And then enter the Lotus folder and delete and everything under the uh, data store folder and the KV log folder. And then use Lotus uh, daemon import snapshot command to import the car file. Okay, it's done. Uh, so finally, we can use the Lotus daemon command to start the node. Okay, the node is up again. Check the version 1.13.2 Calibnet. And then uh, check the sync status. Okay, so Lotus log command can be used to set the log level. And then the Lotus wallet command can deal with the wallets, such as a list all the wallets, create a new wallet, and transfer Filecoin between your wallets. Okay, and finally, don't remember uh, to, uh, don't forget to use Lotus Demon Stop command to stop the node gracefully. Well, that is, that's it. Thank you for watching.